All right, Bola Buddies, I picked this up for a dollar at a garage sale. So what I decided to do was part this out and I'm telling ya. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Let's get started. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I am listing, and of course, I'm getting sidetracked with a video. Um, I parted out a playset, and I want to talk to you guys about it and share with you a big money bolo. But I also want to share with you how you can make money if something is incomplete. So I'm going to give you some tricks and tips, and we are going to get started here. All right, and what I'm going to talk to you about is the Precious Places Magic Key Items. Um, I picked the set up, the gazebo set up for a dollar at a garage sale. It was incomplete and it had a bunch of other play sets, pieces and parts mixed in with it. So we're going to first off look at the big money bolos and then I'm going to go in and show you how I parted it out and one item has already sold. So these are some of the big money bolos. This is a pre-owned Magic Key Mansion. I am not verifying if these were paid for, if they actually um, were relisted, anything like that. This is more gonna be about how I parted out my listing, but I just wanna kind of scroll through here and show you what some of the different things look like. And these would be the big money bolos. This here went for $63. This would have been a great lot to purchase and part out um, because there is a lot of stuff there and it went for $63. Now the shipping kind of added quite a bit to that. But let me just kind of show you here what's going on. And then we're gonna go into my listings and what sold. So here are just some of them. I'm just filtered by highest to lowest just to give you an idea. Now, if I put in replacement into the title, here are some other solds. This right here, this person would have done better parting these items out. Now, here's the problem. If you are impatient and you wanna sell it fast, this would be your option. If you're like me and you're very patient, um, you can part it out and really maximize your profits. Here is my listing that sold. This sold very, very quickly. Um, and it's just from the nursery. And I don't even know what part it is. I was just able to figure it out by um, searching other solds and Google Lens. So look, this piece right here sold for 15. I don't know what this one is. That looks, that's Imaginex. I don't know why that's there. But here's like the little nursery. Definitely could have parted that out down lower. These are two little tiny pieces, $13.95, okay? So is there money in parting it out? Yes. Do you have to be patient? Are these items more long tail? Yes. Okay, so here again is the one that I sold. And this is from 1988. So these are older toys, harder to find. So that is the one I sold. I sold it for $16.25. I believe they were all in with tax and shipping for around $24. All right. So here is how I parted it out. I have three of these gazebo posts. There's three of those. So I just did a multi-quantity listing on that. I've got the gazebo top. I have the key and the doll right here. So this goes with the gazebo set. This key moves her around. She has a little magnet on her. I've got the clock. 
the railing, um, just different pieces. I'm even going to try to sell the instructions. All right. So these are all different parts and pieces that came in my box. This right here is the, um, it actually plays music. And I did put a um, video in my listing that shows that it works and how it works. This one, I probably could have parted out into smaller lots. But I'm just going to price it high and hope that maybe somebody comes along and wants the entire set. Those are nursery pieces. This right here, I could not identify. I don't know which place that it goes with. I don't know which part it is. So I left it very generic and just put replacement parts and pieces. Somebody that's looking for this piece is going to probably type in precious places replacement. And this is going to come up and then they're going to find the item. I do have a couple keys. I do have these priced on the higher side. So um, we'll just kind of see how it goes. These have magnetic bottoms. So the uh, pieces that have the magnets on them, I did price a little bit higher. And like I said, just going to see how it goes with these. But I paid a dollar for everything. And this one piece sold for $16.25 plus shipping. So already made my money back. Already a fantastic. Um, return on my money. Is this for everyone? No. Does it take more time? Yes. I sometimes just really enjoy parting things out. It's just one of my weird things. I get in the mood and I will sit and I will just list it. Um, am I going to make more doing it that way? Absolutely. Especially because it was just a mixed lot of parts and pieces incomplete. So let me know in the comments what you think. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I really mostly talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. So be sure to check out my main channel, Bolo Buddies. And I am going to be popping up a couple videos here and here and a subscribe down below. So uh, main channel, Bolo Buddies. I also have a reseller testing products Bolo channel. And I'm going to start doing live working hangouts eventually. I was doing a lot of those on my reseller testing Bolo products, and I just kind of got away from it. I've just been super busy focusing on getting videos out. People have been asking, when are you going to do your live shows again? And uh, I don't know, maybe next month. Um, I'm looking to get on Whatnot. I want to start selling over there. Just got a lot of things going on, so have not been doing the live shows. Um I may start doing some live listing on this channel and maybe go back and forth on both channels. So make sure you're following all three channels. And again, thank you so much for being here. Let me know in the comments, do you part things out? Do you think it's worth it? Or do you think it's a waste of time? Usually when you part things out, the margins are going to be like smaller listings. But as you saw, some of those items are going to go for 20, 30, 40 bucks, depending on how many items are in each lot. So, um, Thanks for being here and leave me a comment down below if you found that this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.